Hello, today we are going to talk a little bit about the Sino Tibetan family with my classmates Lieta, Jacqueline, Eliseo, and I. Introduction Sino Tibetan languages, also known as Trans Himalayan, is a group of more than 400 languages that includes both the Chinese and Tibetan government major dialects. Also, it is one of the world's primary languages families. This family has around 1.5 billion native speakers worldwide, the second largest number of speakers globally after those who speak languages in Europe. The location and timing of the emergence of ancestral sino tibetan languages has long been debated. One thought is that they originated in northern China around 4,000 and 6,000 years ago. An alternative view is that it arose 9,000 years ago in southwest China or northeast India. The languages are the group of characterized by their tendency to tonality, although it is debated whether this is a trait that goes back to the common ancestors. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about which language are part of. Generally recognized as a phylogenetically valid group is the one formed by the Tibetan Burmese languages and the Karenika languages, to which most authors add the Chinese languages. There are nine groups that are considered as the main Chinese group, Karenic group, Tibetan Himalayan group, Bahim Bayou group, Arbor Miridafla group, Kachin Lui group, Lolo Burmese group, Bodo Garo group, Pukichin Naga group, and as you can see, these are, these are the language with the most speakers. Sidiniticus, Bai, Loloburmico, Bodico, language of the Brahaputra, Dimiha language, Baric language, Budu Garo Koch, Konyak, Kachinlui, and Kachin languages. Well, I'm going to tell you about the geographical location. The Sino Tibetan family has approximately five. 100 languages spoken over a large geographic area from the West Pacific coast to Nepal, India, and Pakistan. Geographically, from northern India in the west to Taiwan in the southeast, and from China in the north to the Malay Peninsula. Due to its large territorial extension, it is one of the two largest language families in the world after the Indian European family with one whole. Four the Sino Tibetan language family includes early literary languages such as Chinese, Tibetan, and Burmese, and is represented by more than 400 modern languages spoken in China, India, Burma, and Nepal. It is one of the most diverse language families in the world, spoken by 1.4 billion speakers. Although the language family has been studied since the beginning of the 19th century. The scholars' knowledge of the origin of these languages is still severely limited, based on a phylogenetics study of 15 ancient in modern Sino-Tibetan languages. The scholars conclude that the Sino-Tibetan languages originated among millet farmers located in North China around 7,200 years ago. This is all for our part. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.